Well, Swifties, they've been looking forward to the shows for more than six months. And while they're counting down the days, organizers have been racing the clock, planning to make sure that everyone is safe as over 60,000 people will filter into PayCorp. Local 12's Cassie Arsenault looks into the small army that it requires to handle any medical or emergency calls for service. Cassie. Taylor Swift is likened to Garth Brooks in terms of their popularity and how they pack fans into stadiums across the United States. And last summer, when Garth came to PayCor, they experienced a problem they had never seen before. They had to evacuate tens of thousands of fans to a certain level of the stadium, showing the medical staff that they have to be ready for anything and everything. So while it's a fact Taylor Swift is going to bring an amazing high-energy concert this weekend, it is also just as likely there will be dozens of calls for medical attention. Taylor Swift packs in tens of thousands of fans in stadiums across the United States. Those fans, no doubt, will rock out for over three hours. During all that time, though, most won't even realize there's a small army roaming PayCorp answering to dozens of medical calls. Uh, and we have to make sure that our teams are ready. There's about 40 medical professionals in the stadium. Some will be roaming, some will be in one of their five medical stations. They're always dressed in this black shirt with red lettering, most likely with a red backpack in tow. They are ready for whatever comes their way. But a large portion of any medical assistance they provide hinges from one factor. Weather. Well, Mother Nature does her own thing. And so uh, what we found out last year during Garth Brooks was uh, severe weather had come through. And Paycor Stadium actually had to evacuate up to this plaza level. You couldn't move. We were shoulder to shoulder. And that was the time when we were getting a lot of calls uh, for service or for medical needs. Trying to get through the stadium from this end to the south end was almost impossible. Thanks to Cincinnati police and Hamilton County sheriffs, they were able to get through the two hours of chaos until the storm passed. But if it's a hot day with high humidity, dehydration is going to be the biggest downfall for so many fans. Hydrate, 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 hydrate. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if we are talking in the middle of July. It doesn't matter if we're talking in the middle of December. The amount of walking that you're going to end up doing at a place like this is a lot more than what a lot of people think. And I don't know how many times I've come in and I've seen people wear interesting shoes, interesting clothes, not appropriate for the weather. And I think, ouch. From cardiac arrest to people needing an ice pack, this medical staff is trained and on high alert. How many people ask you for like band-aids for blisters on their feet or something? Um, not as many people as they ask where their seats are. Okay. <laughs> so um, that is a, a popular question we get is, can you tell me where my seat is? But just like the Swifties who paid a premium for their tickets to see the Eras Tour star, the staff is encouraged to take a moment to be a fan too. We do make it a point to get all of our teams out, whether they're in the medical stations or if they're roaming the stadium, to, hey, take a minute for yourself, get some pictures if you can, uh, and enjoy the moment. So one of the biggest lines they experienced last summer at PayCorp for a variety of concerts was actually women needing to breastfeed their children or pump. So this year they have a space in their medical offices inside the stadium with a comfy chair where women will be able to do that. And we'll have Taylor Swift stories all week. Tomorrow we talk about the economic boom that Taylor is bringing to businesses locally here in Cincinnati and northern Kentucky. You can check out all my stories at local12.com. Just hit that consumer tab. Reporting live, I'm Cassie. Arsenal, local 12 news. Yeah, I'm getting psyched. Okay, so Cassie, let me just, again, if there's really bad weather, all of us who are going might be forced into one area for as much as a couple of hours. So, huh. yeah, so it depends on the weather. It depends how bad the weather okay. is, but yes, you have to evacuate to a certain level, so keep that in mind. Oh, okay, and I hope Kyle was listening because he wants me to wear pink cowboy boots, which I love. But I didn't want to get blisters. Right, exactly. I've got to have walking shoes. So my shoes will not match the rest of the ensemble. Okay, thank you, Cassie. There you go, comfy. <laughs> All right.